Hey everybody. So I've been having this thought lately centered on parenting. You know, I have five kids, <laughs> so many. Um, and so right now they range between like 16 and 23. And I just remember when I was in the young parenting years, um, when everything's just a slog, right? Everything is just, it's like pulling, dredging up like goodness from the bottom of the ocean, right? It's just kids and it's chaos and they're fighting and you feel like you're failing and there's all this like mom guilt sort of baked into the system um, that we didn't even know we were signing up for, right? When we became parents. And um, I just remember at so many points along the way, just thinking, I'm not getting this all wrong. I think I'm getting this all wrong. I think I'm just sending my kids to therapy. I think they're gonna be dysfunctional. I don't think they're gonna like each other. I don't think they're gonna like me. I just remember this like constant Rolodex of thoughts in my brain at essentially how badly I was doing and how much we were getting wrong. Well, here's kind of what I wanna just say. Now that I'm really through the bulk of parenting, most of my kids are young adults and they're out and they've launched and um, and I'm starting to observe something that's really encouraging and I wish I'd have heard this more when I was a younger mom, which is this. Um, there's just only a couple of things that end up mattering, really, in the big scheme of things. It really doesn't matter that one time you like completely lost it and freaked out and made everybody cry and you went and sat in your car for an hour and bawled. That, this stuff doesn't hold. Let me tell you what holds. If your kids know, like deep in their bones, that you love them and that they are safe and secure with you, that's it. I swear. There's a little side piece to this, which is if your kids think that you like them, right? You don't just love them because you have to, right? But you like them. You like who they are. You like how they're made. You like their personality. I'm just telling you guys, this is the stuff that pulls through. It whole, It's the anchor. Everything else sort of recedes. Um, all the failures, all the mishaps, all the meltdowns, everything you got wrong, everything you wish you had back, that stuff kind of just goes away. And what rises to the top, do they know that they were loved, right? Were they safe and secure with you in your home, in your place? Um, did they know that no matter what, these are my people, this is my, this is my spot. And did you like them? Like, did you crack up at their jokes? Did you tell them they were smart? Did you love their talents? Did you decide to completely become a fan of whatever they're a fan of, right? I mean, let me just tell you how much I know about anime now. More than I ever wanted to know, okay? But I got a kid who loves it. So I'm like, and then what happened? This is the stuff that matters. Um, all of a sudden, they pull through the absolute quagmire of teen angst, of like middle school drama, of elementary school chaos. They become these young adults um, and the love piece, the security piece, the like piece, this is what, this is the stuff. So if you're getting that, like, listen, if you are doing that, more or less, and my grade on this, I'm on record as saying, if you're at the 70% mark, that is winning, honestly. I mean, that's passing, right? That's passing in the state of Texas. So let's just say you're getting maybe around 70% of that okay, the love, security, like, but even 60. You're, it's enough, I promise, don't worry. Don't worry, whatever feels chaotic right now, whatever feels like out of control, whatever you think you're just getting all wrong and it's ruining them for life, you're not, it's not true. It's not true at all. You are enough, you are doing enough, and you are giving them enough. So I can't wait for you to see this happen and you're gonna be like, Jen Hatmaker was right. So you know what? Let yourself off the hook. Just go ahead and do it. Go ahead and don't waste another second in silly mom guilt um, about being a human person, raising other human people. It's a waste of time, okay? You're, you are doing a beautiful job. Keep going. I can't wait to see, um, I can't wait for you to see what these kids turn out to be like. Okay, great job, you guys.